birds are a natural enemy for any aircraft, and they are currently flocking to the Queen Elizabeth, an ideal ocean perch. Fly through, come around, and VL, winds red 525 to four spot. Coming into land, Nathan Gray is about to realize he has unwelcome company. And bringing it down to 100 feet, slowing the rate of decel, looking good, small lateral input. Control, there's a lot of birds around uh, today. We've got, uh, I've got birds on the left hand side. Our copy, in there go, VL. Paddles, landing 65, uh, just be aware there's a lot, a lot of bird activity this afternoon. Okay, bringing it into the hover. And sure enough, one of these little birds comes far too close for comfort. Oh, bird down the left side. And faster than the eye can see, it's ingested right into the intake fan. The aircraft has been instantly compromised. Something soft, fluffy, and weighing less than an ounce brings the mighty F-35 to its knees. A tiny little bird could absolutely do damage. It doesn't take much sometimes to damage an aircraft. To check the engine, they put somebody in the intake to crawl up and see the front end of the engine just to make sure there's been no damage to it. Spin the blades, make sure they're good for you, sir. The F-35 will not fly again until it's fully checked. The bird would have been instantly vaporized and the intake fan shows no sign of immediate damage. But nobody is taking any chances with a hundred million dollar aircraft. The bird went down the lift fan, so it's important that we check this aircraft out, run the engine uh, and the lift fan up to full power to make sure there's no damage. The F-35 is OK this time. But the birds keep coming, and they're getting bigger. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fast speaking. Um, some of you noticed on the upper deck that there seem to be quite a lot of birds around at the moment. But it's just a reminder that these are quite dangerous in the aircraft, as you'd expect. Uh, in actual fact, one of them today was sucked into the, uh, the intakes of the engine. You see it in the ground to fry them off. Uh, but most importantly, please do not feed them. The most expensive fighter jet in the world needs a lot of looking after. And on the bird front, even nature is lending a hand now. Rather like the ship, starting to police itself. That sort of falcon, we've seen him, he caught one of the little sparrow type size birds before, and he was munching on that down the back end. He's munching on all the smaller ones and keeping the sort of population down. But obviously we don't want him going down an intake either. The Falcon that's been with us for about two and a half weeks now, he's fantastic. I mean, he's the perfection of flight. I mean, that really is the development of nature just there. Uh, but what he's been brilliant at, he's going out and catching all the little songbirds we've got and keeping them away uh, from, from the aircraft, both the helicopters and the jets. Um, he's marvellous, but he's a beautiful looking bird as well. Have you got a rank yet? Uh, not yet, no, but uh, he certainly gained his carrier qualification, that's for sure. But his, his hover alongside three spot yesterday was exceptional whilst eating a bird. <laughs> Zero, speed 12 knots, other units as necessary to maintain station. Yemen Navigator, flag Foxtrot, port out to Yardang, hoist. Traditional taxi instructions, taxi uh, PF 